I have been so excited about filming today's view for you because this is what I've awoken to. Philip's insisting I give you the weather report. It is already warm, but it's going to be 36 degrees today. And we are in the stunning village of La Rochefoucauld, very close to the Chateau of Prividal, which is where I'm going today, for a super exciting reason, which is that I've been asked to model for an artist's workshop there. So apparently I'm going to have my portrait painted today. And wait till you see outside the door. It gets positively Romeo and Juliet out here. I think later on Philip's going to have to go down there for a little bit of Romeo action. But there's no time for that now because we have to get to Prividal ASAP. But first, one last glance at the view because it just makes me think of ancient Rome. You'd think you're in Italy. But no, this is France, but there was a strong Roman occupation in this area thousands of years ago, and somehow you still feel the influence. I'm going to give you all a glimpse of the bedroom on the way out and of a very flustered Philip desperately getting ready. But look at this fireplace. It must be late 17th or early 18th century. And the ceiling height is extraordinary. I love this place so much. I'm going to enjoy working at that desk this evening. It's, oh, I like your outfit. Thank you. I forgot the shirt, I realised. Look, I was wearing one. <laughs> and I wanted to wear a white one. Anyway. You look great. Thank you. All right, let's run. Yes. You say super calmly, going really slowly. Not, not going really slowly. <laughs> the town looks gorgeous. Very much looking forward to exploring that later. Ooh, Créateur de Charentaise. I have to go and explore that. Of the big chateau there in front of you. Oh yeah, there's the chateau just in the distance. That's not the Chateau de Prividal, it's the Chateau de la Rochefoucauld, which has been lived in by the same family, the La Rochefoucauds, for a thousand years. Look at that. So thousand year old chateau. <laughs> Good to see you again. Welcome back. Thank you. I can't believe it's been two years since I was here. Since before you moved in. Yes. Stephanie has not made it back this whole time. I know Philip's been back. Been yeah, I haven't. Look at you looking smug over there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Everything oh, you're trying to grab all my clothes. Yes. I'm so sorry. I've brought so many. Because I didn't know I what know. what you'd want me to wear, basically. Yeah. So Stephanie I brought loads. Stephanie is doing us an enormous favor today. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. No, it's such a pleasure. She is posing as the lady of the chateau today. Yeah, the wrong chateau. No, you're the lady of this chateau. No, <laughs> it's not. You of, need to explain what this yeah, is. Yeah, so we created our name yes. based on you very much based on you. Oh my goodness, Truly. no. Because each house throughout all of time has one beautiful woman at its heart that mm. infuses it with love and life. And when Caroline and I first came to La and met you before COVID, you, you, know, you hosted us, it was my birthday, you served us. It was wonderful, it was everything I thought it would be. And then you left for Paris to film the B&B competition. Mm. And it was like, <sighs> the soul was the sucked soul out of the house. Oh. And it was like, it's still beautiful. Everyone's still lovely. And we were just like, oh, the lady of the, the chateau heart, is not the here. The beating yeah. heart of this place is gone. I'm like every single house for all of time. I'm sure this place has had so many women at the heart who are the lady of the chateau. Yeah. So it's not us. It's, it's a uh, concept. It's, now it's you. It's, you. <laughs> it's a concept and it's uh, you're going to pose as. Oh my goodness. I feel incredibly lady. honored. It's, it's Thank you. Beautiful. And Joanna is going to. Really, really. I can't wait to meet her. Chat. It's so beautiful. So she's been explaining to a group about the gilding practices that come from the Renaissance. Yeah, so she uses like, gilding in yeah. it too. I oh, I follow her on Instagram. We'll show you the studio. We're going to show you the art that's been made. This oh, this is gorgeous. It's, oh, it's very organized. It's a heaven. <laughs> and this is the work of the week, which we wanted to show with you guys and show you because it's just. Wow. Do you know what they've been making? 
Oh, it really is. Oh, it is Prividal. Yes. So this is an incredible woman from Australia who's a huge Chateau Diaries fan. And she is here doing watercolor, as well as Kim is doing watercolor. Oh, I'm loving the blue and white. <laughs> and here's, there's a lot of blue and white going on oh, yeah. here. We had a whole Ooh. afternoon tea set up. Ooh, that's making me hungry. That's Joanna's version. That. Oh my goodness. What a talent. I know. So this is Joanna's work. Yeah, this is Joanna's And um, this is Prividel with the gilding. And so it's painted just... from a photo. Oh gosh. It's that's shimmering awesome. in the night light, isn't it? The oh, evening it's light. It's hard to capture on camera. No, it's perfect. Is anything? Yeah. And the, this is the lady. Like the, the lady of the of chateau. Yes. yes. And look, look, Troubadour. Yes, <laughs> it's Troubadour up here. Oh, she thought we would miss her this week because we had to put her in puppy hotel. For the, oh, she, yeah. she jumps on everyone. It's the really one of the chair also just really captures yeah. Chateau, doesn't it? The light coming in, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's where you're going to be sitting. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have the same teapot. And you know what? Well, it comes from California. California. Oh. You yeah. put it all the way back from California? Yeah. Oh. There's this fabulous little antique store in where we yes. lived, and we were watching Chateau Diaries and we saw it, we just became mad for a woman wave. Yeah, I just gorgeous. So, like, did you see us receiving it recently? Because we didn't, we only got ours really recently yes. from Michael, actually in the US as well. Really? He sent it, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. I love you so much right now. Thank you so much. Macaroon. the proper school. Don't have a macaroon. I'm back in the prettiest chateau that I fell in love with when I first visited. Joanna's the artist and she's chosen the dress that she wants me to wear, so I'm quickly going to get changed and then I better run straight in to model and I'll chat to you in a sec and let you know how it's gone. So could you bring that shoulder a little more towards me? Yes. Okay. Comfortable? Yes. Need a swig before we start? Go on. <laughs> <laughs> You've never been paid from life before? No. So the most important thing is just to relax. I'll be talking to you okay. through it, and you'll see me pull all sorts of faces <laughs> that don't look pretty. You'll see me squinting at you a lot. Um, but uh, that's just the process of like that's seeing the values. I have to say, I think you deserve a humanitarian award for helping a lot of the world get through COVID. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, a lot of people discovered you, as you know, during that time. And uh, I know I'm one of those people, mm. and um, you know, it just brought such a piece, slice of beauty into you know the the life, the daily life, which was a little bit boring and grim. I'm having my little tea and croissant break, whilst Philip is doing a gentleman of the chateau pose over there, with a glass of cognac that he's not allowed to touch and a book that he is allowed to read. So that's something, hey? <laughs> I love the different ways that people see you, Philip. Have you seen any of these, Philip? No. No, no, I'm like, I've sold my third painting ever, so. You've nailed it. <laughs> I liked this view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I kind of got that and I liked it so much that I just, I'm staying with that and I'm just. It's great, I like it. So how did you find it this morning? I don't know about reading. <laughs> I know, yeah, you were you were reading. I was actually chatting quite a lot during mine, which was nice. I didn't think I'd be able to chat, but it was really lovely. Joanna's so nice. Maria forced us to bring all the tomatoes from the lounge. We brought three <laughs> cases of them.
my posing sessions, I'm not sure that's the word for them, but I think it's so hilarious. I'm calling them my posing sessions. They're 20 minutes long each. And then in between I can relax, have a little lie down. So I'm getting changed. My dress stays perfect for the painting. And I'm getting on with my admin in what is probably my favorite room in a chateau full of the most glorious rooms. I love this place beyond words. It is everything that a French chateau should be. And here it's really quiet. I can sneak away from everyone and get on with my work. And wherever I go, wherever I'm traveling around the world, I always do my admin. And as you know, I always use NordVPN and I'm very lucky because they've offered to sponsor this video with this ad. As many of you know, I have been using NordVPN for years, long before they offered to sponsor me. And I used to use it just to watch English TV when I was traveling around the world, because you can choose to be in any country you want to be virtually, and you can watch the content from that country. Now, I promise that's not what I'm doing now. I haven't snuck into this room to just watch BBC iPlayer. I am working. But even though I'm not watching TV, I am still using it because Nord is much more than just a VPN. Their threat protection protects you from malware, trackers and ads. And they even have a dark web monitor which alerts you whenever your credentials have been leaked. I can work completely securely knowing that all of my data is encrypted with next generation encryption and also NordVPN respect everyone's privacy. They never track or share your data. But if you are just using it for watching TV, you can be assured that it's the fastest VPN in the world so you won't be bothered with constant buffering. And best of all, it is incredibly easy to use. I just need to go to NordVPN and then with one single click, that's it. I'm protected. I can't recommend NordVPN highly enough. And if you're interested, this is a very good time to sign up because if you click on the link in the description box below and sign up for two years of VPN, you will get an extra four free months. To make the most of that offer, go to nordvpn.com forward slash Chateau Diaries and it's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. And now I'm going to go back to work before getting on with the real job of the day, the incredibly difficult task of sitting very, very still in a really beautiful place. Okay. I can not see in the mirror and all I can say is I wish I looked like that all the time. <laughs> Watch that. It's really beautiful. But that makes my day. That would be incredible when you mirror that. You Good. Good. Is it something you always do? Uh, it depends. Um, yeah. Um, I think it depends how relaxed I am too. Okay. Um, you know, it depends on the sitter. I, I painted Kevin Costner a few years back from life. Oh, gosh. And I certainly didn't put up a mirror that time. <laughs> <laughs> I, was really, I said to you at the very beginning, I was so surprised because I think yeah. most artists wouldn't want the sitter to be able to see like, yeah. mm. strokes and things. But well, it's been lovely. I thought also, you know, because it's, it's, it is a bit of time to sit and it just makes you, you know, especially being you're an artist yourself with a different art form. It, it keeps you engaged and I think the energy just keeps going. It's not a it's not a static thing, you know. So how come you look in the mirror? Is that yeah, to I, see both in focus at the same time? Or? Seeing on the, the other side of your brain is looking. Oh. So you see your drawing mistakes, you see your value mistakes. And, you know, back in my studio, I have a full length mirror behind mm -hmm. me when I paint. It just, it works. It's just a very ancient uh, tool. That's really cool. Um, yes. I, yeah. 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 Huh. It's time for a break before the final painting session of the day. So Philip and I are going to go out and explore this chateau's extraordinary maze. It's lovely to see Prividel so alive. This is what a chateau should be like, filled with people and creativity. And it's such a difference from when I first visited.
Hello. Hello, Stephanie. It's great. Nice to see you in the flesh. Very nice to meet you. My name's Diane. Hi. And I live in Brisbane, Australia. And I've watched all your videos. Oh my goodness. Thoroughly enjoyed in your travels. Love the travels to um, Venice. Thank you. I, I mean, I could film those I'm every week if I could. I'm to go shopping with you. <laughs> We're just at the end, Philip. The last brush strokes now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there. I think. Oh, wow. It's well enough for a sketch. Well done. Wow. There we go. I hope you well, like it. You're calling this a sketch? Yes. <laughs> That's a sketch. We're calling it a sketch all day. It's a life sketch. <laughs> it right. is incredible. Do you like it? I love it. Oh, good. Absolutely love oh, it. Good. That makes me feel really good. Yeah. Awesome. You're so talented. Yeah. And so also good. the gold leafing that you did beforehand. Yeah. Yeah. The frame. It's just amazing. Yeah, well, I think it's like the gold leafing. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sweat ball, sorry. <laughs> it's not well, me. Um, I'll leave this here for you guys. And, you know, it's going to dry in about three weeks. And then you can take it home. I didn't realise you were. I didn't. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Oh, that's too much. Make me a martini when I come and visit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely come <laughs> No, it's been my pleasure, and um, oh, oh my goodness, we'll... it's going so long. It's wait. been a real dream sitting for Joanna. It's been the most wonderful day. I had a lot of editing to do this afternoon and I've been editing my vlog with Oliver Travels with my friend. And now dinner has started, so I'm going to go through and join everyone. But on the way, I'll show you some of the extraordinary art that's being produced here. Here we can see some of the beautiful paintings that have been created during this workshop. There's Philip. And here is a very Picasso-esque Philip. It's just beautiful. They are, truly. I particularly like your one of the desk. Me too. Stunning. Beautiful. So Stephanie, welcome. Philippe, Stephanie, I talked about Limousin. Yeah. Wow, yeah. getting towards our neck of the woods. Yes, Limousin cattle, because we had Limousin beef last night. And I talked about the Limousin people, after which the town of Limoges has been named. And what we probably don't know is that the Limousin people, being herders and wanderers in a cold climate, developed a cloak with a cape. No, I did not know. And in the year 1889, in Paris, the first limousine was displayed, and it was so called because the driver must dress for cold weather, and he dressed in such a cloak because the people in the carriage are in a warm place. But he's outside. He's also, oh, no oh, way is it yeah. named after Limon. Yeah. <laughs> One of the many things we love being in France. We've been here a year and mm -hmm. they have been here a little bit more, but it truly has been wonderful. I have not regretted it for a minute. Sometimes I cry, <laughs> sometimes I'm exhausted, but no regrets and it has been wonderful and surprising. Mm -hmm. And we thank you guys to, for your help, oh, for having so brought welcome. us here, for having seen the chateau, mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. through your eyes. And mm -hmm. Stephanie so would go special. along every window and show us the views. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and she said, there's no ghosts. It's been <laughs> <laughs> so, so Have you found any ghosts since then? No. No, no. no. Yes, you see, no ghosts. Wonderful, wonderful spirits.
It's wonderful things are happening in here. Look at this. Is this a dessert arriving? This is a, this is a pear buried underneath chocolate and orange. Oh my goodness. I don't know whether we're in the best room or whether all the dancers are in the best room. Oh. Well, come enjoy <laughs> joining us for the most wonderful day at the Chateau de Prividal. I want to say a huge thank you to all of the patrons of the Chateau Diaries and remind you that this week's patron video was my trip to London with Philip this week to meet up with his parents and do a spot of vintage shopping. Today I would like to say a special thank you to Donald Gutmiller, Crystal Hardy, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff and Brooke L. Hedemark. Thank you so much for supporting the Chateau Diaries. Lots of love to everyone watching and I can't wait to see you all again on Sunday.